Hey hello friends, in this video we are going to create this progress bar using react.js and when we click on increase it's going to increase its width and also whenever we click on this decrease it's going to decrease its width. If this video is helpful please give it a like and also share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So let's begin. So first we have our app component in that we have use state with default value 0 and we have percent and set percent right. So with this set percent we are going to increase the percentage by 10 or we are going to reduce it by 10%. So we have two methods to handle this. So on click of increase button, we are calling increase method. And when clicking on decrease button, we are calling decrease method. So here we have a check whenever we increment the value, if the value is going more than 100, then we are not doing anything. We are just returning from the function. Else we are going to update the value. Same way we are going to decrease. So if the value goes less than zero, then we are not going to do anything else. We are going to reduce the value by 10. And also we have use effect. Using this, we are just going to console the percent whenever this changes. All right. So now let's implement the progress component. So first I'll import this and use it over here. So now we are using progress.js and here we have empty fragment and instead of that we are going to create a div. And this div is going to be the outer container and we are going to create another div which is going to be the inner container. Okay, so let's add style to this. So first let's give style to the outer container. I'm going to give border and we are seeing a line because it doesn't have any height. So I'm going to define the height which is going to be 25 pixel and now we got height for this div and for inner container we are going to give height 100% because parent has 25 pixel height and the inner will get the 25 pixel height if we give 100%. And now we are going to give background color, I'm going to give red and also I'm going to define width. So without giving width, it is entirely occupying because it is a block level element and we can reduce the width by 50%. So now it is 50%, right? So what we can do is here we need to make it dynamic and also we want to display the percentage completed right so let me just give 50 percent right now let's hard code this value and also i will make this text align center and color white all right so now we want to make this width dynamic right so here we are going to add style and here we can define a variable is going to be width and I'm going to define it as 30% right so now we want to consume this variable so we can do that using CSS right you can just give width and now it is taking the 30% width now let's make this dynamic and also change this to dynamic value. So for that we are going to take a prop which is going to be percent. Right. So the default value we are going to define as 10%. If we don't pass anything it will be 10%. I'm just going to give this and also I'll just change this to percent. Right. So now we got 10% so we can also make it to 0% and then here we are going to pass the percent so we are going to pass this particular value we already have this percent right and here we don't have the percentage over this value so we are going to always add this percentage so that this will go as 
five percent or ten percent or twenty percent whatever it is and then this percentage will be calculated in this variable okay so now we can decrease or increase to make it smoother we can also add transition width 0.5s is right so if we add this property now whenever we decrease or increase it's going to change with animation so if you feel this video is helpful give it a like and also share with your friends and subscribe to this channel